Hello and welcome to the Kernow Cast, where I, Lewis Pauling, talks to people from all walks of life from across the duchy. We are particularly focusing on Cornwall's entrepreneurs, their businesses and how they contribute to the county. But we're not going to forget about those unsung heroes that power our community. We are here to spread the word of all these organisations so that you can get involved within your community or support that local business that you didn't know was just around the corner. So join me on a journey around the county from the comfort of your car, armchair or wherever else you might listen. Cheers, my dears. Yo, 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 it's Lewis here with the Kernel Cast. Um, this week, it's just me. Um, you've got the pleasure of me for the whole time. No one to uh, interrupt us. Um, yeah, this week, it's just me. Hopefully, that doesn't bother you. Um, I'm going to do one of these every so often because, first of all, it's going to be good practice for me to be talking. And second of all, um, it's going to... Well, I'm probably not going to get enough people in for a start, for a minute. So I'm going to have to do these things, try and keep the content going. Might try and find some different bits and bobs to do along the way. This one is going to be basically where I just look at how the Colonel cast has gone so far uh, with the few episodes we've done. I mean, we've been, I've been doing this just over a month now. Um, so... Yeah, I'm just going to sort of just run through how we've got on. I might do a few other little bits at the end. Um, I mean, so, when did we first start? Back beginning of February, wasn't it? So, from the beginning of February till now, which the date is the 13th of March, so five weeks or so, and I've released five episodes. Across those five episodes, I've had a total of... 418 views and 230 downloads. If you take away the 26, um, yeah, roughly, it's probably a few more actually. It's probably a few more than that actually, thinking about it. That's only 26 on there, isn't it? On the So yeah, that's only 26 on the downloads. So I've, got, I've basically had about 600 around 600 views and downloads across YouTube and iTunes and Stitcher. So it's only sort of three platforms, which is, which isn't bad, is it? I suppose I'm, just, I'm getting about just over a hundred views on each episode. Which isn't too bad. I mean, if you look at each episode I've had so far, so we started with my friend Shane, where we was talking about, well, we just talked about how he became an accountant, really, and just, you know, it's a bit of a practice, sort of how we, a few different questions, just, you know, just something to throw out there and see how you, what it was like. Um, and then I went to my other friend, Mike, um, Mike Dyer, in the episode two, where he talked about his milking business. I think that was... That was one of my favourite. That was one of my favourite ones I've done so far. I think it's quite interesting. I learned quite a lot. I think there's a several things I could have done a little bit better, and in the way I asked the questions, and probably should have went in there with a bit more knowledge of what I was doing. But so you well, you live and you learn, I suppose. Um, but those two there as well. They're my best performing episodes if you look at them on paper. So. Shane's has got the most downloads, where he got a total of 68 downloads. Though he wasn't, he didn't get quite so many on the old uh, YouTube. Well, he got 52. Um, and Mike was the best on YouTube so far, with 70 views. Um, which is quite good. Quite pleased with that. I mean, it's, def- it's more than I thought I was going to be getting. 
And the views have been quite consistent. I mean, after the chains one, on the downloads, it went down quite a bit. I went down to 32 on Mike's and then down to 18 on Thomas Cheeseman's on number three. I think that was because I didn't share it in enough places, though, really. Um, went up to 20 for Lee Frost on the downloads and then up to 30 and 36 on the, the bonus. Well, I got 30 on the bonus episode and uh, 36 for, J- for Jameson, uh, episode five. Which so I'm sort of on the way back up again now, I would say, which is which is good. Um, it's quite funny really because I've had only 27 views on Jameson's. He's had more downloads than thing, whereas all the others have had more views on YouTube. Quite interesting, interesting thing. Um, I mean, if you're actually thinking of starting a podcast, by the way, um. It's quite straightforward. It's quite cheap. Like this so far has only cost me, it's costing me £20 a month to upload the audio files onto a website, which is called libsyn.com, L-I-B-S-Y-N.com. That cost me £20 a month, but I get all these um, analytics from that as well. And like a a load of um, downloadable space which is in, you need, and it sorts your RSS feed out thing. So, you know, for those of you that want to be doing it, you need to look into that. Um, but, like, it's cool because you can find out, you know, where people are downloading from. So across the... Across... I want show... There we go. So top countries, I can find out which countries are downloading. So I've had a total of 211 downloads from the UK, which you would expect. And then I've, I've had 17 from the States and two in St. Lucia, which is... So thank you very much for those, um, the people that are downloading from abroad. So I think there must be one person in St. Lucia because they've downloaded the last two episodes. Um, so thank you for listening, Mr. or Mrs. Person in St. Lucia. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool how you can find all this stuff out these days. Um, yeah, so also we like with the videos video side of it I think it would help when I'm not just using this sort of standard um, bog standard picture that I've got and uh, actually start recording the video camera I've got I it's decided to break so I can't turn the thing on so when I get some get a few more sponsors in I might be able to get a camera and do some video recording, um, which would be cool, that would be cool, because it just adds another dimension to it all, I mean, that's the dog, I don't know what she's, what's wrong with her, <laughs> um, sorry about that, um, how's my night getting on, nil no, nil, no. oh, ah, just as I said that, Chelsea go and score, Right, we're going to be turning that off a minute, won't we? Christ. <laughs> Never mind. I'm a Manchester United fan, by the way. So if you stop listening because of that, then, well, fair enough, I suppose. <laughs> You're allowed. Um, I've got 97 Facebook likes. So please, someone just share this so it just gets an extra couple of likes. I need three. I need three for 100. And that's it. Come on. <laughs> I need it. Got 23 Twitter followers and four YouTube subscribers. So, could do with the YouTube. If you do listen or watch on YouTube, oh, please subscribe because then it just comes straight onto your homepage then. Um, just a bit easier rather than looking out for the Facebook posts or whatever. Makes things a little bit easier and just helps me gauge how many people are sort of watching and listening basically, dropping my pen, um, I don't really tweet that often really, I'm, the thing is I'm not really sure what to be, I should be tweeting about yet, I'm not still sort of getting my head around which direction this is going to be going in, um, I mean I've got a few other ideas, but hopefully you can see the gist of where it's going at the minute, it's just, com- the main part of what I'm doing at the minute is just conversations with people from 
all walks of life so we can you know understand what's going on um and you know it's just something a bit different i think as well i'm still looking for people to come on i'm getting hold of a few people but it's not always uh i think because people don't always know really what it is people are a bit like mm. I'm not sure whether I could talk to him or I don't really know. I don't. I haven't got anything interesting to talk about. And I, you'll be surprised. I think, you know, there's a lot of people out there that have got interesting stories, but they probably don't think that's interesting because it's just theirs. So, you know, we'll keep ploughing on with that. Um, I did have a sponsorship in the last one. Uh, what did you think of that? Did you, was it a bit annoying or could you cope with it? It wasn't too long or too short. And let me know what you think about that, really, because it'd be interesting to know what everyone thinks about sponsorship and stuff, because I don't want to like be one of these people that just have sponsors every 30 seconds on as it going on and just want them really at the beginning and, and at the end so that you just get the whole conversation. You just got to flick through the first bits and then, you know, it's not too bother. It doesn't bother you then, hopefully. Um, how do you think I'm doing? Do you think I'm improving as it's going on? Am I still doing a few too many ums and ahs? I don't know. Hopefully, probably say hopefully too many times, don't I? Because I'm, I'm very hopeful for this. That seems to be what's going on. Um, I'm probably not doing as, I'm probably losing my mind a bit as well because I was, I was having a bit of a rush around. You know, when you get those rush arounds in the morning before you go to work and you forget to do something. Like put the kettle on for your coffee in the flasks. <laughs> I didn't boil the kettle, filled up the flask, and went to work, and I had bloody cold coffee all day. One of them, eh? <laughs> You've all done it. We've all done it. Um, unless you're lucky enough to have your own office or an office, and you can just have a kettle there ready <laughs> instead of having to take it with you. Um, yeah. So how am I doing? If you think I'm or do you think I should replace the person that's doing the interviews? Maybe maybe that would be a, something that I should consider. Um, let me know what you think, you know, or what, things that I could improve on, whether I could do a bit more on the editing side of it, so, like, chop some more stuff out if, it, if I'm babbling too much. It's, it's probably what this is going to sound like once it's finished, but hey Um <laughs> If, yeah, if I'm babbling too much, if I'm not really talking about anything that makes any sense, that could be the case. If I'm always asked, if I'm not making my questions clear enough, that's probably some of the things that I've thought of while I've listened back and some things that I want to practice and obviously get better at. But I think it's only stuff I'm going to get better at in time. Because it's, you know, it's something I've never done before, so we'll... We'll see. Just I'm gonna keep trying to plow on for it. So yeah, if you've got any advice, sort of, uh, please let me know. Is there anything out there at all that you'd like to see the Kerner Cast doing, or is there any people out there that you'd like me to get in contact with? So if there's someone specific that you'd like to listen from, then let me know who they are, and I will try and get into contact with them. To yeah, and hopefully they'll be interested in coming on, discussing whatever it is they've got to discuss. Um, I've got a few new ideas that I want to look at. Um, thinking of maybe doing on the side of the interviews as well, is doing a weekly sort of news roundup. So either buy the paper, the paper, the paper, the paper, or flick through the websites here, and uh, just talk about the news and have a bit of a you know a bit of opinion on it perhaps and you know just uh, you know a weekly news out of thing you don't want to have to do one every day doesn't Cornwall doesn't need news every day because it's just you know sometimes it's just it's not really much go there's not much stuff they need to talk about but we manage to make news every day anyway I mean if you look at today. There's, um, there's a teenager that's gone into hospital with a broken leg from in Penzance. I heard about that on the radio while I was driving. It sounded nasty. The road was closed all day. I hope that they, everybody involved is all right. Um, 
What else was there I've seen? Oh, yeah, the, a Cornish brewery announces the capture of two under threat local boozers. Let's have a look. Uh, a Cornish brewery has ex- expanded its estate of pubs to six after buying two local bre- uh, pubs. A Celtic brewery in Redroof has announced that it has bought the Mount Ambrose Inn and the Railway Inn. Oh, that's cool. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Mount Ambrose Inn had recently closed with no indication of when or if it would reopen as a pub and the railway was almost lost as a pub entirely last year when it looks set to be sold to a developer for conversion into flats. All right, good on them. Tell you what, that is someone I should be getting, should probably speak to. Let's speak to them because they're going down the sort of Sinostal Brewery kind of route, which is quite interesting because there's not many that do that. A lot of the... um, breweries and um you know wineries they'll uh make this make their beer and their wine i suppose we'd call them breweries or talk beer they'll make their beer and they'll sell it bottled for the most part it's quite good that someone's actually going and trying to do it properly like um Oh yeah, those peep, those two that were got were part of a seventeen and a half million pound fraud. Ooh. They will have to serve sentences. Two men from Cornwall jailed for their roles in an international VAT fraud worth seventeen point five million have been told by top judges they cannot complain about their jail terms. Fair enough. North Cornwall MP Scott Mann claims seventy nine pounds a year for Amazon Prime subscription on expenses. Yeah. It's a bit silly. He didn't really need to do that, did he? Um, so this is all on CornwallLive.com. It's a pretty good um, source for all things Cornwall, really. Pretty up to date with everything, aren't they? Um, we'll have a quick flick through the football, shall we? Since I'm now watching... Let's just see this corner from this Chelsea corner. Ooh! Costa puts one wide. <laughs> if you're interested in football, let's have a look at the uh, South West Peninsula League Premier. Uh, Tavistock leading the way on 73 points. And Salt Ash United with two games in hand over him have got 65. It's be quite a big gap. If they win both those, that's six. So that puts them on 71, so not too far. Plymouth there with 32 in third on 65. Sonor Storm and Bobman then below. So like Bobman, they used to be the ones that were winning. I, mean, I think I looked earlier. St. Blasey there. Like, one, you know, six, seven years ago, St. Blasey were near at the top with, with Bobman. It's all changed. It's all changed. I don't really follow it that much, to be honest, but I followed more Dutchy football because I played in Dutchy football. So a little bit more about me anyway. Um, I don't know, I'm kind of waffling, but you know, a bit more, uh, get the newspaper out. Hopefully I can sort out a way to film it. I've got my phone, but I don't know about if it's the same for all of you, but your phone's always full, isn't it? Always full, you can never get rid of everything. You soon clear all your pictures out, but I don't know what it is, but there's always something else there. <laughs> They're just always full. It's all the software they actually, like they put on, maybe apps, that's what it is, apps. Um, yeah, so, yeah, please subscribe to your chosen platform uh, for Countycast and, you know, get on those Facebook likes and Twitters, Twitter fellows. So, uh, you know, I, I know kind of roughly how many people I'm sort of speaking to here at the moment. Um, looks like I've got a pretty, a nice core following of around sort of 15, 20, 25 people, which is great. Thank you very much. If you've listened to every episode, by the way, um, I think you're probably, you're probably like my hero or something. You're like a legend in the Kerno cast legacy that has only just begun. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you are pretty, it's pretty cool though. If you have listened to everyone, I'm, I'm glad that I'm entertaining you anyway. Hopefully I can be, as I get better with it and be able to speak better, then I'll become even more entertaining and I can get even better people on. Not better, 
better people. That seems a bit disrespectful to the people I've had on. It's a bit unfair in it because they were cool. But like maybe more high profile people. Like maybe we could, maybe as a team, tweet the hell out of someone. Don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it evolves. In the meantime, yeah, thank you very much for listening to the Conocast. I know this is a little bit of a, a slightly shorter one, slightly different one. Hopefully, it's not been too boring listening to me for 20 minutes um, or so. And yeah, I'll see you next week where we will have someone else to talk to. All right? Brilliant. Thanks very much. Enjoy your weekend. And um, yeah, Conobisvecken. <laughs>